I'm usually the one coming with the crazy gear. You, you're, yeah. you're outdoing me here. Well, this is how I, I uh, kind of blend in in Vegas. Hey, it's, it's if, Vegas camouflage. If you got to do it. If in I Vegas, walk around in Vegas in this jacket, no one can see me. Nah, but if you got to do it, you do it big in Vegas, just like that. So Thanks, I'm, giving, man. I'm giving you props on that. Love it. Can't move my arms. <laughs> hey, you got to sacrifice to look good sometimes. Exactly. There you go. Stiff as a board and cool <laughs> as hell. Hey, hey, but you're always cool. Speaking <laughs> of which. You went in on this one. I like the way you went back to your in living color roots. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, it was a nice character. You know, it was a, something we discovered at the last second when we were doing a <laughs> makeup tests and stuff. I always have them bring mics and, you know, things, you know, mic me up and camera me up for the makeup test because I want to play, you know? And then you just and we put this wig on wild. and everything changed, you know? <laughs> Immediately, in a minute, everything changed. The character changed completely. It became this, you know, really kind of like a, you know, Head tripper. I'm sure you've seen people walk on red hot coals, but I doubt you've seen anyone spend the night on red hot coals. You know what I say when I see a bed of red hot coals? Like a guess. <laughs> Sleep right through. Yeah. No, I, I love the way you poke fun at that that style of magic. Yeah. That you just you went yeah. in on, on Chris Angel. Yes, a little bit. Yeah, little just bit. a little bit. Yeah, I know. I wasn't after him specifically, but I, I was like kind of showing the the next generation, you know? Trying to be the next job. What's coming next? Yeah, with a little bit of masochism. Uh, a little bit That's of where it's at. Thrown in there. Yeah, a little bit of jackass around the edges. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> which was cool. Which was right yeah. down your alley because you're yeah. a master of physical comedy. I do like the physical comedy. Yeah, and yeah. You're good I'm at an it. instrument. I'm spilling over in every direction. Nothing can contain me because I'm the container. <laughs> no, can't you, contain the container, man. Do you actually believe in magic? If so, why? If not, why I believe not? in magic. I don't think it goes down quite like like it does in Vegas, but uh, yeah, there's magic all around for sure. I'm all constantly, you know, in wonder and awe about the things that are going off around me, for sure, because I'm awake. <laughs> Did you spend any time hanging with Copperfield? Uh, I have a little bit in the past. I didn't during the movie, but um, I've seen his show and uh, you know I've I've met him. I've actually. Uh, vacationed on his island, which was kind of great. And, I mean, <laughs> Were you the guy, there alone? Or the guy has a whole people? world to himself yeah, that yeah, is no, no. amazing. When, when, when you're buying islands, you're on a different level. Yeah, exactly. Because he doesn't just own an island, exactly. he owns islands. I'm not sure if they're real, though. You've been there. It could have been so like 8 tell, by 10 tell, or something you, like that, you and tell it, everything me. else is an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. No, no, you tell me. Yeah. Now, one of the things about the movie is it talked about how this guy, the lead character, played by you know Steve Carell, was inspired as a kid to be yeah. doing magic. Mm -hmm. When's the first time you ever performed in front of an audience, and what did you do? Well, it was in li the living room for me. It was, uh, you know, I, I, I actually, you know, from a... I, probably was, you know, five years old, maybe maybe younger, where I looked at my dad and I saw him. He was very outgoing, very uh, very entertaining, animated guy. So when he told a story, he wrapped everybody's attention completely. It was like, he didn't just say like, uh, you know, so the guy walks in, he's like, so the guy walks in and, you know, he's like that. And he's like an amazing cartoon. And I watched it and I went, that's how you get over. That's what you do. You know, plus I had a sick mom, so she needed a few laughs. So you were the entertainer. I was. Since five. Exactly. Still rocking it. Yeah, I used to come down. A company would come over. They'd sit in the living room, and they'd, they'd say, uh, Jim, can you come down here for a second? And I would fly down the stairs on my face <laughs> and uh, shock everybody. And then I'd, go, I'd get up, and I'd say, and now let's see it in slow motion like that. And I'd go back up and do the whole thing, <clears throat> you know, kind of thing all the way down the stairs. And that was my big opener. Fantastic. Yeah. So I get the jacket later tonight, right? Oh, sure. There sure. you go. My man. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Appreciate cool. it. What attracts an audience is not necessarily explosions and special effects and CGI. It's actually what happens between people. That's what connects with an audience.